Yo, what's going on everybody? Good evening. This is Ron with Get Fat Food. Today is the seventh day of September. The seventh day of the September Behind Bars Challenge. Today, I'm finna make some money. And it is currently 5.50, almost six. Um, so I got an oil change today and I got uh, my tires rotated. Uh, looks like my brakes are fine. So, I mean, I guess I gotta trust what the mechanic says. Um, but yeah, and I'm gonna get gas and wash the car. Gotta wash the car once in a while. I usually do it every couple weeks. Um, just cause even though it doesn't really rain here, it, it you know, mists, it mists and is foggy a lot. And so the car does get like, I don't know, I guess you could say pollen or dirt on the outside. I don't know. In any case, I'm taking you guys along for the ride here, ride along. Anyway, let's get on with it. Um, yeah, just starting off, so let's go. What's going on, you guys? Doing my first pickup. So I just got the car. I actually turned on everything, all the apps, while I was in, in the a car wash. Mile, make a slide right turn on Junipero, uh, sir. Be quiet. Sixteen dollars for six miles. It's kind of far from what I would usually do, but it is taking me back into the city where I want to be for Grubhub because Grubhub has been my Jesus. Grubhub has been my uh, superstar as of late. So I want to keep it that way. I want to keep working some Grubhub. Anyway, this is an alcohol order. Uh, Bevmo. A very popular chain uh, for drinks, alcohol, right? So I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. $16 going near SF State. And yeah, man, let's see. Let's see what I can make tonight. I'm optimistic. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, you guys. Well, just delivered that alcohol delivery, Bevmo. Looks like it was uh, Jack and Coke night on a Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, let's go see what else I can get. Let me go around here. Let me go park somewhere because I'm kind of like that's the problem with San Francisco even the surrounding areas you know there's not much space for stuff so you're kind of just stuck trying to find you're always double parked basically so you got to try to find a place to park I'm trying to be safe here guys so one rant I want to say is that the uh the DoorDash versus Uber alcohol delivery is a little funny because I got to work more. Okay, let me park here. Sorry. I got to work more for the uh, the DoorDash alcohol delivery because it's uh, I have to always end up entering the codes for everything. I mean, the codes manually enter the information for the customer. As opposed to Uber, it works like 80% of the time where it, it, it doesn't scan the barcode on the back of the of the license. What it does is it scans the actual front of the ID, whether it be a passport, California driver's license, driver's license in general. Sorry, that was my dash cam. So that's what, uh, I like Uber a lot better on that and for alcohol delivery, it's a lot easier um, as opposed to DoorDash. They both pay very well though. And my highest paying record, highest record paying job <laughs> uh, is was a alcohol delivery from Total Wine in Daly City going all the way to the Rincon uh, building 
which is like in the Embarcadero in San Francisco. And I was handsomely tipped by the customer. Um, I don't think he's ever going to watch this, but if he does, thank you very much. That was record breaking. It was $50 for one trip. $50. I'll never forget it. It's always going to be up here, man. That was crazy. Um, in any case, let's just wait for enough, something else to come up. Um, but yeah, that was, that was actually pretty quick because most of the delivery was highway. So don't be afraid to do high mileage stuff if you know it's going to be on the highway. Trash. Hawaiian barbecue, four miles for five bucks. It's on Uber, by the way. It's not on, uh, I know you guys recognize the sound anyway. But yeah, so just wanted to share that with you. Um, alcohol delivery is pretty cool, man. It pays pretty well. Um, for the most part, people will pay and tip you pretty good around here to deliver alcohol. Food is another story because sometimes they'll, you know, be very generous and sometimes they won't like right now. Five dollars. Um, I don't think so. So let's keep going. It is almost seven. So that delivery took me about 20 minutes or so. Um, from the time I actually uh, got the car washed and got gas and everything. Also got an oil change today. Oil prices are going up. That oil change was 80 bucks, man. It used to just be 70, which was like two months ago. And I told the guy, I was like, hey man, what's going on? He's like, prices need to go up. He's like, you can go to like Valvoline or whatever, like Jiffy Lube, Speedy Oil, whatever change. They're going to cost more. So I was like, oh man, okay, I'll just stick with you. <laughs> I did look it up and they are more. They're like... uh just a little more, to be honest. It's like $85 or something like that. Uh, but yeah, $80 for an oil change and tire rotation is pretty, it's pretty expensive, man. Can't wait to get on two wheels. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'm still debating whether to get like a motorized scooter, which I have an M1 license. So I can get like a more powerful scooter if I want. Or get a electric scooter i'm kind of not considering e-bike anymore and it's only because of range um i've been considering like the e-move cruiser which is like the highest range electric scooter there is and there's a seat for it there's a seat been considering that and hmm, this one sucks too $8.69, which sounds great, but for six miles. No thanks. Yeah, so E-Move Cruiser with a seat. It already has, it has an ignition key, which is important for delivery drivers because you don't want to get jacked. And you just want to make it as difficult as possible for these thieves. So like, even if they jack your electric scooter, they don't have the key. They can't turn it on. They're going to have to like, you know, they're going to have to take it to a shop and like find a way to make it work. So, yeah. Uh, and I'll have to get a chain, probably one of those New York chains, uh, bicycle chains. Yeah, man, it, it's going to cost a pretty penny. So you, whatever I make from this challenge, hopefully I can order it and do it by January because uh, due to tax reasons, I kind of want to keep using the car till the end of the year. And it's the last quarter of the year, so shouldn't be a problem. It's just another three months, right? I also have a Disneyland trip that I'll probably film a little bit of with my kid. It's his first time going to Disneyland and he's already seven. I know, but it's because I haven't had money, but excuse me. Jesus. <laughs> um, but yeah, so some goals in mind and I'm still on the fence whether to get a gas scooter or an electric scooter. What do you guys think? Comment below, please.
So I've only had one offer so far, $16 that was worth taking. Maybe I should head back into the city more. Oh, let me turn on Grubhub. There you go. That's what I've been missing in my life. I turned on DoorDash, but I was in Daily City, so I'm going to have to end it. And go to the city. Let's turn on Grubhub. I like Grubhub and Uber put together. And I've done a little bit of multi-apping. So we'll see where that takes us. Cool. I'll update you guys in a bit. All right, guys, got another one. Jenny's Burger on Grubhub. This one is uh, $10. It's not great, but it's not too bad. So let's go ahead and do it. <laughs> <sighs> this is why I need a two-wheeled vehicle because I hate double parking and blocking people and then they they get pissed and then they beep at me and it's like I know I know I'm just picking up food it just takes a minute oh my god I know you guys can barely see me probably but yeah that's why <laughs> that's why I need like a a scooter or something man because it's just not working it's hard to pick up from those, you know, and people like the restaurants that are all clustered together like that. And you just can't, you can't do it, man. In a car, it's hard, you know. There's no parking. Ugh, it's so annoying. It's just the pickup part too, you know. A lot of the drop-offs are at like houses. And those are, you know, no problem, but it's, it's the pickups at restaurants in San Francisco where it's like that, that it's hard to do in a car. Late night is easier because, you know, it's late night, so not too many people are out, but anyway, yeah, uh, thanks for, <laughs> thanks for coming out this ride along. <laughs> All right, well, I'll check back with you guys later. I don't know if this is worth $10, but it's pretty slow. It's Wednesday, I don't know, Tuesday right after Labor Day so maybe that's what it is people just spend all their money on Labor Day so they're like eh let's not spend too much money here at home and just uh, cook or something cool I'll check back with you guys in a bit alright guys got a uh, SF hole in the wall pizza order going to uh not too far away, like two miles away for $9, nine dollars, nine fifty, something like that. So let's get her done. This is only the third offer and it's already eight o'clock that I've accepted. So I've only done three. So far not looking so good. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, you guys just accepted a pickup. For $9.75, pickup is not too far away and it's going back to where I dropped off. So that was only like a mile and a half and it was $9.75, so not too bad. I think I'm getting a little spoiled by Grubhub. <laughs> so anyways, let's get her done. What's going on you guys? It's now time for the recap. I know I was gonna do a different kind of shooting today didn't work got too busy got too flustered it's just yeah anyway time for the recap I do have a little story uh, to tell you at the end here but uber did one trip today for $17 pretty good it was a alcohol order like you guys uh, no, because I told you. Um, DoorDash did two deliveries, twelve fit or twenty one fifty. Not bad. 
and again star of the show but also has some problems Grubhub did 108 tonight and I only worked six hours worked around 6 to 12 so right now it's 12 30 so just got home a little while ago so story time here I'm too nice I uh before this I was doing customer service so I don't know I I want to have really good customer service <laughs> So I was trying to multi-app earlier with DoorDash and Grubhub. I got two orders. One was going, the Grubhub order was quick, um, or I'm sorry, DoorDash order was quick. And on the way to the drop-off, there was also another order from Grubhub. So DoorDash, on the way to the drop-off, there was a pickup for Grubhub. The Grubhub order was really good it was nine dollars but it was only like within a few blocks of my first drop off so i was like dude great i can go pick up the doordash then i'll go pick up the grubhub then i'll drop off both so i pick up doordash luckily it was ready uh grubhub was not ready they said five more minutes so i was like well, I don't want this DoorDash order to be late, especially since uh, the customer texted me saying, hey, I'm going to wait outside for you. So I figure five minutes, I could do it in five minutes. It's literally just five blocks away. I drive my butt over there as quick as possible, drop off. It was pizza, drop off pizza. And I haul my butt back over to the Grubhub uh, pickup. And therein lies the problem. They said five minutes. Probably three or four delivery drivers got there after me. And they all left before me. And I, honestly, I think it was their fault that they probably forgot about it. Like it was already ready. and Or it was like almost being made. And then they kind of like stopped in the middle of it. I don't know. But I waited 30 minutes. And after 15 minutes of waiting, I was like, I should just cancel this. But then the drop off was literally three blocks away. So like I said, I'm too nice, man. I'm, I'm, too much of a nice guy I'll wait it's probably gonna be coming out real soon <clears throat> finally at 30 minute mark 35 minutes so it's actually longer than 30 minutes guys sorry I finally complained I was like hey guys what's going on here this is it's ridiculous it's like 35 minutes. It said I was supposed to pick it up at 9.20. It's like almost almost 10. What's going on? You know? And finally they gave me the order and they apologized and whatever, but I was like, I was so pissed. So I was like, what the hell? What's going on? What you just don't... You, you have the tablets for taking in delivery orders, but you don't want to do them? Anyway, I was I was pissed. Um I'm I'm calm now. <laughs> but uh I'm probably never going to pick up from there again. Uh, I do have a blacklist of sorts pretty much places that I just, you know what? I'm not going to go to. And this is one of them. So I've been working Daily City because it's easier with a car in Daily City, but the offers are lower in Daily City. So uh, in San Francisco, it's a little different. I haven't really worked it too much. I usually just work late night San Francisco because it's easier to do that with a car. Um, 
I find that there's some places that I have to blacklist here too. So in Daly City, I blacklist Wendy's. Wendy's really sucks. Buffalo Wild Wings. Even though I do, I do do them, I do do some orders for them once in a while, but it's got to be super great. And they're usually too good to be true because usually I get there and they're like, oh, I'm sorry, our system's down or I'm sorry, we don't have that order. And then I end up having to call Uber and then I just get $3 for it because I showed up. So that's, they're on the blacklist. Uh, who else is on the blacklist in Daly City? Wendy's, Buffalo Wild Wings. I think that might be it. Oh, maybe Popeyes. But Popeyes, so Popeyes, the reason why Popeyes is on the blacklist, sort of, is because they don't do, they don't package up the order until you get there. So you get there, you show up, you show them your phone, you're like, hey, you know, it's, it's for Ashley or whatever. And they're like, okay then they'll bag it up because you know for Popeyes the way uh, Popeyes works is that everything's ready so they just have to package it so they don't package it until the driver gets there so that's why they're kind of if it's too busy in there I'm not going to go in there it's just too much I don't want to wait that long so Popeyes so here in the city I don't know if I want to say because they're kind of like mom and pop shops and uh well one of them is uh well they're all chinese restaurants and burmese so they're all asian restaurants two of them are dumpling places that i'm probably never going to go to uh the one from the last video right including the video before that there was another dumpling place that pissed me off uh then the one from tonight and the Burmese cafe that was on, uh, I'm not going to say, <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to do those anymore because they just, they suck, dude. They don't want to help me out. Then I'm not going to help you out. Usually you scratch my back, I scratch yours. That's how it works, right? In any case, let's go to the calculator and let's finish this off, finish this night off. So 108.46 on Grubhub. By the way, on Grubhub, there was this really nice old lady I delivered to like around 10 o'clock. Um, I believe it was some Thai food. Um, but she was really nice and she tipped me an extra $10. Nice. Nice. Uh, 21.50 on DoorDash. And we have seventeen fifty seven on Uber. One forty seven fifty three, just about almost one fifty for tonight. Last night I did one fifty as well, so not bad. Especially on like a Tuesday night right after uh Labor Day. In any case guys, thanks again for watching. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to edit this video. Uh, I was trying to do something a little different, but I don't think it's going to work out. <laughs> I'm just too, I'm not motivated for the video thing. Anyways, uh, take care. Keep safe out there. Keep safe hustling out there, okay? Let's keep on hustling. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.